Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, we were exploring the guardhouse. So, let's continue. Uh, we did manage to slip past Yawn, and on top of that, we also managed the seemingly impossible task of uh, putting down about a thousand dogs, which was uh, uh, not too bad, actually, if I'm being honest. Now, this is a little bit interesting, because we have... Lots more holes. Uh, now, what can... Oh, God. What concerns me about these holes? Now, for science, if we push this any further, are we going to get grabbed? Right. No, we're not. Okay. So, we need to put this over that. I... Okay. I don't know <laughs> much about this, and I am going to get my notebook out. Do I have a pen? That would be great if I did. <laughs> Apparently I do not have a pen on my desk, which I find... Fairly hard to believe, but there we are. That's the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, okay. Well, sod the book then. Right. Yep, I was going to say, I know there's... Oh, dear. I know there's zombies in here. Come on, you little bastard. Round the corner. There you go. Lovely. Have some bullets. Not bad. Last magazine. The last two thirds of a magazine. Hey friend, come in the corner. Let me introduce you. Some nine millimeter. Nine millimeters of fun. Oh, he's gone. He's down. He's down. Uh, if we could find some bullets, that would be pretty good, to be fair. Um, pretty sure there was ammo in this room at some point. But I guess not now. Wait, this isn't this is this isn't the guardhouse, is it? It's called something else. No, it is the guardhouse. Okay. Right, nothing unusual. Okay. Now this desk should have something. Shotgun shells, I'm gonna say. Yeah, okay. So we still get the shotgun shells from there, which is fine. I mean, we're kind of like if we was playing the normal version of the game, <clears throat> this would be round about where the shotgun uh, would come into play, and the handgun would be pretty much obsolete at this point. Now, okay, all right. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? I. I will. And I shall investigate said bathtub. And is the key in the bath? Nothing in the bathtub. What? Really? Uh, okay. So there's nothing in this room at all. Interesting. Hmm. So, apart from some shotgun shells, there was nothing in this uh, dormitory at all. All right. That's fair, I suppose. Right, let's have a little look in here. There should be some stuff in here. I know there was a handgun magazine, I believe. In here before there's still the spiders that's cool oh that's in a new place yes we'll take the red book for sure we need that um, there should be like some handgun bullets or something in here uh, I'm gonna reset the position of the spider because we don't want none of his business we don't want no nonsense from him today. At least out here is relatively safe, I guess. Alright. 
it. Uh, that spider's just chilling up there. That's fine. Wait, there's nothing here. Seriously? It's broken. Yeah. Oh, right. So this is what we need. It looks like a clock dial. 958. Some kind of code. Yes. Now, I will forget that. So... We're going to go for 958. If I can get my app working. Uh, 958. There we go. Right, okay. One second, guys. Oh, we're back, guys. Right, uh, sorry about that. So, what was our thing you what's it? It looks like a clock dial. 958. And I have found a pen. Whilst I have been gone. Yes, a pen. Right, let's get out of here. We have what we needed. We could kill these guys, but there's literally no point. It probably wouldn't end too well for us, to be honest with you. Right, now can we push this? I guess so. I guess we can. I was expecting tentacles. But I guess we're not getting tentacles. Am I being paranoid about nothing? Maybe. Interesting. So, do you not get the tentacles? Coming out of those other broken cracks? Ha. Huh. Interesting stuff. Right, let's get to the meat and the potatoes of this area. So we've got two doors. Uh, is there still herbs up here? Now that door needs a key. There is still herbs up here. Ooh. Uh, there's three herbs here. You better believe we're going to take all of these herbs. Because it would be a little bit silly to leave them behind, shall we say. So, scoop all those herbs up, Jill. Uh, maybe we're going to keep some of those herbs. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Right, good stuff. Got plenty of shotgun shells for this bit. <clears throat> so, we're okay for now. Um, probably want to go back to the item box. Just to drop off. Because... We're kind of a little bit loaded. I mean, it's nice to have all these uh, item spaces. It really is. But <laughs> we do seem to be burning through them quite fast. Uh, mainly with herbs, to be honest with you. Right, let's just drop this stuff off. It doesn't take too long. So why they're not... Oh, uh, and I also found an easy way to sort out my recording aspect ratio. So, we can actually have the correct aspect ratio now. Um, it's not perfect, but it works. And that's all we can ask for at the end of the day. Uh, red book we're going to hold on to. Shotgun shells... Shotgun shells we don't need. I don't think. Look at all these herbs and health we have. So, half of our inventory now is full of health. Which is pretty juicy. Not going to lie. Um, now we have an ass ton of shotgun shells. Which is nice. We have 42 shotgun shells. Now, in as I said before, this is where you would really drop the Beretta and never use it again. But unfortunately, we're not going to get that lucky in this difficulty. I don't think. We're going to have zombies and hunters out the ass later on. We're going to keep our Beretta with us for now. Because four rounds usually would be pointless. But considering we've got that critical hit chance. We're going to keep a tight grip on it. For now. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, we can go through. Where can we go? This door's locked, isn't it? 
Yeah, locked. Plate says O2. This one we can go through for sure. We should have a key by now. But obviously we don't. Um, okay, there's no zombies in here, which is pretty standard. Now that clock we examined earlier, that's what we want here. And we want... Will you push the keys? Yes. And it was nine, five, eight. There we go. That puzzle I actually think is way harder in the remake, but I could be very wrong. I can't remember. I really want to do the remake again, but obviously we can't because the remake is quite a way away. Uh, now, we could make the V jolt here, but the game won't let us because we haven't read the file on the V jolt. So. Now, there is a key up here with these wasps or bees or whatever the hell they are, dormitory keys. Uh, we can spray those in the remake, but obviously uh, we're not going to worry about those too much. So this should be double zero. Yes, it is. Double zero two. All right. Now, this is a bit of a spicy room through here. And here come the bees. Wesker will put those locked down soon. I thought you needed a key for that. Yeah, Wesker's going to come down later and put all these bees down, wasps down, whatever the fuck they are. Hornets. T-Hornets, yes, the T-Hornets, that's what we should call them from now on, uh, right, uh, so, uh, no, that's the wrong way, Jill, Jill, you've only been in this place for a hot minute and you've already forgotten your way around, look at all the vines and everything in this place, damn, almost as if a certain big plant somewhere had uh, started to take control, I mean, I'm just speculating, who knows. Right, let's go. Open the door, slowly like. Now there's definitely some zombies in here, I reckon. No? Okay, I guess not. I mean, the desk is locked, so we'll have a little look in there. Uh, some more shotgun shells. I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. I wouldn't have said no to a handgun magazine, to be honest with you, but that's fine. We also have the dormitory sketch. We'll have that too. Very nice. And we have some blurb here to read. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than the other plants. Uh, have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist uh, went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Oh dear. Now the basement is filled with water, and it's easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through... Uh, another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs, and they are the second source for its nutrition. One sense, uh, once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located on the back of its vines. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by tw uh, twining its vines around, especially when it's captured prey or it's sleeping. Plant sleeping? Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Okay. Sounds like a pretty nasty bit of vegetation. We're going to have to be a little bit careful and watch out for that. Um, we still have not got uh, a key or anything. So we only have one room left. Now, this room did have ammo in, I think, originally. 
Oh, two Zeds. Well, was not expecting two Zeds. Ooh. Okay, I was definitely expecting one, but two. Oof. Right, so there's the other dormitory key. Very nice stuff. Didn't really want to spend two cartridges here. Not when we still have some ammo in the Beretta. I mean, the Beretta is almost totally obsolete now because it's almost empty. But that's okay. That's good. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. Because we've got a shotgun. Um, yes. Yes. We'll come back here. We're definitely going to come back and go to the Aqua Ring below. They don't call it the Aqua Ring uh, in this game, do they? It's the remake. Mmm. Oh, the Aqua Ring was a really fucking cool bit. Actually, the remake of this game is superb. It's like the perfect remake. It adds so much whilst keeping the core gameplay. Fantastic stuff. Now, I know there was a magazine in here. One of these dormitories, which we have not found. I'm pretty sure there was one in the pool bar area as well. But I guess that's been moved too. In here, I'm pretty sure there used to be fire ammo. And there's definitely one zombie that's a pretty rough bastard to dodge unless you've got the shotgun. Yeah, okay, well that's not changed. Anything else? Flame rounds. It's pretty juicy. Zom flame rounds aren't very good against zombies. Uh, they, yeah. But they are pretty good against hunters and the like. Nothing major about this washstand. Oh, that's cool. The way dual pitters uh, in that. Nothing special. It's a toilet. What'd you expect? It's a very nice toilet, actually. Um. Dust collects inside. You know, it's kind of making me think of my bathroom, really. Um, <laughs> except my bathroom's all white. Our house is very old. And I mean very old. Oh, God. We've got zombies. And I have a message. From who? Okay. Alright. That's good. That's my friend Neil. I shall have to get back to him in a minute. Oh, zombie. Oh, no, we didn't. We did. I was hoping on the last shot we could get a nice head pop. That would have been a pretty special moment to, to enjoy together. Um, right, so can we open this desk as well? Desk is locked. Okay, we actually used the lockpicks way more than I thought we did. Oh, ink ribbons. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, why not? I would have rather had some ammunition, but okay. A row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? I, Vjolt Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of plants infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculations, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt. But the UMB series chemicals may generate poisonous gas, which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB number 2, red. NP003, purple. UMB number 4, green. Yellow 6, yellow. UMB number 7, white. UMB number 13, blue. Stimulating smell. V-Jolt. UMB number 16, brown. Alright, now we've unlocked the ability to... Uh, 
kick this plant's ass. Now, we can go through there <laughs> without V jolting the plant, but there's a word for that. Ah, oh, yes, yes, stupid. That would be stupid. There we go. So let's go mix up a hot batch of V-Jolts. How many slots do we have? We've got three, that's fine. I think we can do this with three slots. There is four bottles, but I don't think you need all four bottles. So, you know. Okay, so we need uh, that bottle. There's UMB number two. You need a container. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. There is our container. Now, what else do we need? There's UMB number two. Will you put UMB number two uh, in a bottle? Yes. Yes, we will. So we have UMB number two. All right, and we have another bottle here. Yeah, we, we, yeah, water one, red two, purple three. Yeah, okay. Now, empty bottle, we shall have him. And, yeah, come on, there we go. We want you. Will you put water in the empty bottle? Yes. Now we have the water. So, if we come over here, it kind of tells us something is written on the wall. Water one, red two, yeah, purple, yeah, huh? So, let's mix these two together. And that gives us NP003. Um, now, we also want another bottle. Like so. Now, we should be able to do this with three bottles, I think. It's been a long time. There's UMB number four. Will we put UMB number four in the empty bottle? Yes. So we've got four. So if we mix three and four, that gives us seven, I believe. Yep, so now we have UMB seven. Now we need UMB seven. Uh, I think now we need to make the MP. F oh, let's have a look. There's the key here. Something is written on this wall. 2 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So we need a 2 and a 4. Okay. So there is UMB number two. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, how do we make four? Or is this four over here? Yeah, UMB number four. All right. So you have those bad boys again. Now it was. Yeah, come on. We know something's written, right? So three and four. Ah, oh, bugger. Hang on. No, two and four is fine. That's what we want. Two and four. That's fine. Two combined with four. Then we've got yellow six combined. There we go. Now we have UMB 13. And I think we just need a red and a water now. Uh. Have a look. 13. So, yeah, we, now we just need a red and a water. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's not too bad. There is UMB number two. I. Right. We still haven't got the key for the aqua ring. Um, I just thought about that. Where's that key? You've got the water. So we've got the V-Jolt. 
There we go. Now we have that. Right, uh, so the key. Where's the f fucking key? I mean, obviously it's not going to be in the boss room. I say with some limited degree of confidence. Where would the key for the aqua ring be? Because we don't want to get stuck in with Neptune. Never actually thought of Neptune as a threat in this game before. Um, hmm. I mean, we might have to go down. Without the key, but that seems really freaking dangerous. I mean, really dangerous. Like stupid suicidal I don't know how dangerous Neptune is when he's in water uh, I'm guessing pretty dangerous right we don't need these these can go way the fuck oh huh way the fuck up here we need the UMB. I might save it, you know. We don't need the Beretta for now because she's bingo ammo. We'll keep the shotgun, and if we're going to take the shotgun, then we might as well go all in on the boy. Like so. Don't need the flame rounds. We put the flame rounds back. I can't believe we actually. It's so weird, you know, it's making me a little bit nervous. The fact that we are now using the shotgun. Not out of choice, but because we have to. So let's go down to the aqua ring area and see if we can find this key. I was almost said something stupid. I was going to say, oh, well, maybe, maybe it's not locked in arranged mode, but that would be stupid. Um... Hmm. Much confusion. Wow. Now, I don't know how long this video is going to be either because uh, we had a bit that I had to chop off, didn't we? Because we got interrupted. Um, right. Let's have a little look down here. We need the freaking key. Definitely haven't missed anything. Well, I say we definitely haven't. That is really eerie the way these curtains are open. I say we definitely haven't missed anything. I'm not sure. It's absolutely possible we've missed something somewhere. I mean, the items have been rearranged, obviously. But ha it hasn't been too bad so far. Uh, right, so we need to do the box puzzle. I'd say puzzle loosely. Right, so that's still looking the same. Let's drop you in. Now, there is some health here. Oh, is there? Doesn't look like there is. Oh, no, it might be further on. I'm sure there's some health down here. Because we need that. Especially if we're going to be fighting uh, our friend. You know the friend I'm talking about. You love to see it. Right. I, of course, mean uh, Neptune. Now, Neptune is so strange. Like, I'm actually worried about Neptune. Why would you be worried about Neptune? You know, you usually just pull the plug on him and then either laugh at him whilst he flops around the floor or shoot him in the face or even knife the fucker, to be honest. But... Yeah, strange stuff. And this is just monotonous. Come on, Jill. Move your ass. Yeah, she's doing the best she can, I guess. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Does that box say UMB on it? Are these full of the UMB chemicals? I've never noticed that, but that's quite a cool little thing actually hmm and I have no idea why there's just some random pool of water here either uh, yeah so there is the two herbs here that's good 
Now I'm really hoping I don't die here. I've just also noticed I've got ink ribbons on me. So what I'm going to do... Am I going to be a big coward? You can't... Yeah, you need the key to go in there. That's the thing. Because all the room... You can't... You... Hmm... You can't use... Yeah, let's go... Let's go recheck everywhere upstairs. You can't... There's nothing here. Nothing on this desk. It's not going to be in the boss room, because that's just stupid. Because you can't get into any of those doors through there without the key. There's nothing here. No water is left. The key was in here. Unless there's one door here that we can use, but... Uh, well... We didn't want to live forever, did we? If I have to redo it, I have to redo it. It's not the end of the world, I guess. I don't know how quick uh, Neptune will kill us, to be honest with you. I don't know if we can even fight him. Uh, if you can even shoot him underwater? I have no idea. Um, hmm. Yeah, you can see just how slow we are underwater. It's crazy. <clears throat> I thought the game actually was slowing down, but I don't think it is. Oh, boy. Right. Oh, we're so slow. We're crazy slow. We can go in here. Oh. Okay. Can we use the v -jolt? We can with... We can use the v -jolt. Okay. Well, that's blown my mind. Um, I guess we can go fight the plant now. Uh, okay, I was not expecting that at all. But before we go fight the plant, let's go back and save the game. Now, usually, I always fight the plant with the handgun. Because it kills him really quickly. I never knew you could use the visual with... Um, oh, fuck it. I'm so tempted to look in the other rooms now, but I know you need a key. I know you do. Anyone that's played Resident Evil knows you need the key. Um, hmm. But yes, I always use the handgun against the plant. Because the plant's actually really weak. But in this mode, we're going to have to use something a little bit different. I'm thinking the grenade launcher. I don't know how good of an idea that's going to be, but I guess we're going to find out together. Kind of makes sense to me as I'm saying it out loud, but I don't know, Chief. Uh, we've got say ink ribbons on us, so we're going to drop a save here. Right, I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, uh, I guess we're going to go fight the plant. And 
um, maybe we, do, maybe we get the key, uh, in the room with the plant to go down into the aqua ring. I'm not sure. I really don't know. But I guess we're going to find out together in the next part. So thank you very much for watching, guys.